Hi guys. So I'm actually two minutes early, but it's because I can't just sit here. Sometimes I'm rushing to get in here and I sit down and it's like right at the last minute. Other times I come in here and I sit down and like I have like 15 minutes to wait and I've been sitting here for 15 minutes and I'm like, I'm going to push go now. <laughs> I just can't wait, right? <laughs> I get anxious and excited to see you guys and those two minutes make a big difference. <laughs> I was missing you, so. Hi, 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 Miss Sylvia. How are you? I hope you are having a good day today. Oh, there's Miss Sue. Hi, Sue. Hi, Caitlin. Oh my gosh, Caitlin's in the house. And Katie. I got Caitlin and Katie. It's a special day today. Hey. <laughs> Yes, Katie says, thank goodness it's Friday. I agree, my friend. I agree. I love Fridays. I love fr Sue says, hi, popped up on my reminder. Yay! So glad. I'm so glad. I have to set my own. I know I say that to you guys. I'm like, set your reminders. And some of you might be like, well, why? Facebook tells me. I don't have to set a reminder. But it's because some of us, even in our settings and having adjusted our settings a million times, like Facebook still doesn't send us notifications. So I literally have to like set reminders on my phone. So I have reminders. I have reminders for a lot of things because... There's, there's not a lot of room up here in this noggin. So um, I have reminders for everything. So I have a reminder for when Beetle on goes live. I have a reminder for when Candy goes live. I have a reminder for when um, Dakota Stones does things. I have a, remo a reminder for Sam. So I have, to, I have to physically set a reminder for things. So Facebook is just not super reliable when it comes to notifications. Oh, hi, Cassie. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Jan. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, indeed. All right, so let's talk. Let's chat. It's Friday. I love Fridays. I'm so excited. And you guys, I have a mess. Like, when we are done here, because you guys know, like, I've been trying to play catch up. I've mentioned it a few times. Sylvia says, hey, girl, hey. <laughs> I, I've been trying to play catch up, and I finally have gotten to the point where I'm like, okay, if this weekend I work on kits for next week, I can get ahead by one whole week. That's fingers crossed that this weekend like goes accordingly. But you know, like they say, man plans and God laughs. It never seems to work out that way, but fingers crossed. But I can't even begin to tell you, like I'm going to try to turn you so you can see I might undo you from the tripod just because I don't want to break the tripod, but I want you to see this mess that I have. Hold on. Okay. Can you see all that? Do you see all of that beady goodness? Look at that. And then it's down here on the floor as well. Like it's spilled over into the floor. It has gone. I have no workspace because I have shipments that have all come in all at the same time. I have orders that are in. I have things from Kathleen that are in. I have, whoa. So as soon as we're done here, I'm going to crank on some rock and roll, put on my big girl pants, grab myself a Diet Dr. Pepper and get some stuff done. <laughs> because at this point I can't, I can't work. There's so much stuff here, but it's great because it's exciting stuff. That means that it's stuff that's going to go into kits for you guys, which I love. I'm so excited. In fact, something just came a minute ago, like literally just a few minutes ago, and I wanted to show these to you. For those of you who are part of my um, Straighten Your Crown Facebook group, I'm working on something special for us that's going to go in the shop, and it is going to include crowns. I'm so excited. So I got a bunch of these, and they just came today. They just came today. So hopefully I will have enough time to get all of that together and put those in the shop for all of my crowns over in the um, Adjust Your Crown group. So I'm excited. Or straighten your crown, not adjust your crown. Straighten your crown, which is super, super fun. 
Um, let's see. So what else do I have to tell you guys? Okay, so I've been hinting about a paid group that is coming up. And some of you have asked, like, why hasn't that happened yet? When is that going to happen? That happens next week, actually. The very first opening day will be May 1st. And I'm actually going to open up a few days early so that you can go ahead and get those payments started. I'm not going to get all into that at the moment, but know that if you are interested in the paid group and what all of that is going to um, be, you know, what's going to be included in the paid group, be sure to tune in on Tuesday for Tuesday's Live because we're going to do a project, of course, but I'm also going to explain like what all of the benefits are to the paid group. I also want to mention that the paid group is not super expensive, regardless of whether you sign up three months at a time or just by month to month it's under $30. Okay. So it's not super expensive. It's not a kit. You're not going to get a kit or anything like that. What you're going to get is just some exclusive, more exclusivity, a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time, and the projects are going to be a little bit harder, but then there are also other perks. So if you're interested in that, come back on Tuesday, which I want you to come back on Tuesday anyway, but come back on Tuesday um, to get the rundown and all of the details about that, because I will be opening up payments for that next week. Uh, did you get a hair trim? No, as a matter of fact, I was thinking this morning when I was blow drying, I have a lot of hair. It takes a really long time to blow dry. I hate it. And I was like, oh, I need a haircut. <laughs> I haven't gotten a haircut since before COVID. Like this is just scraggly, terrible ends. <laughs> what you see here is just heat damage. It's not trimmed. <laughs> oh my. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of that information is coming up next week. Also next week on Thursday for Thursday show, Sam from Sam's Beach Shop will be here. We're going to be going through his subscription box and we're going to be creating a project using the beads that are in, what am I doing with my hands today? <laughs> it's Friday. We're going to be using his beads from that subscription to create a project. I'm just going to sit on my hands. <laughs> also this morning, I'm just being random with you guys because it's Friday. It's casual. And you know, the projects are not going to take very long. So we're just chatting. I was thinking this morning, like, I need a magic eight ball. Do you guys remember those like from your childhood, like way back? I don't even know how old magic eight ball is. You remember the magic eight balls? I feel like this group needs a magic eight ball that like we can just refer to when we need to make decisions. <laughs> Somebody wants to send me an eight ball. <laughs> no, seriously, I think, I really think I'm gonna get a magic eight ball. We must, we must ask the magic eight ball <laughs> for things. I don't know what those things are, but I feel like I need one in my life. So that's, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Marianne says, what's well, a haircut, right? <laughs> I haven't had a haircut or a pedicure or yeah. Mm, yeah. Y'all are lucky if I shave below the knee. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Quarantine's done a number. <laughs> you get what you get. Oh, I got the giggles today. All right. So <laughs> Donna says my magic eight ball lied. <laughs> oh, I gotta have one. I gotta, I never had one when I was a kid. Okay. Sob story. I never had a magic eight ball. My cousins had one. I never had one. Kathy says, how many cups of coffee did you have? This <laughs> I'm just in a good mood because it's Friday. It's Friday. We've got great projects. These are easy, but you guys, if you love beautiful, sparkly jewelry, then I've got what you need today. Also, for those of you who don't like a lot of sparkle and you like that kind of under, understated, you know, but you like maybe earthy, more kind of boho, I've got some leather earrings that you are going to love. So that is what is in store for you today. All of the kits have already been loaded into the shop. So those are there. If you are ready to purchase kits, they're all there. Um, if you... <laughs> If you don't want to purchase kits and you want to recreate these things with jewelry you have in your own stash, you absolutely can do that too. Because that's what Feel Good Friday is all about. Feel Good Friday is about easy, fun, instant gratification jewelry that makes you feel good. It's like candy for your brain to take into the weekend. So there are several kits in the shop, but I'm only going to show you three different 
um, designs. The others, I'm going to show them to you, but we're not going to actually make them because otherwise we would be here <laughs> till tomorrow. <laughs> and you've already seen my bead pile. So girl's got stuff she got to do. All right. So let's, let's do this. I'm excited. I'm excited. Can't wait for you guys to see these. Boop. All right. Turning you around. We've got sparkle. We've got all kinds of beady goodness and i was actually not going to do this kit first but you know what since it's on the mat and you can already see it <laughs> i think we will start here all right so i'm glad you like my giggles thank you some people get really annoyed with my giggling and carrying on but for the most part everybody here knows that you know i'm just crazy and fridays are particularly a particularly casual if you will okay so we're gonna make a necklace look at these oh so good this is yes please can i just have a necklace made out of all of these so let's put together a necklace and actually there are two different ones in the shop so there is this one that we're going to put together and there is the other one so i'm going to show you the other one that is already ready so you can see what this is gonna look like. So you've got two different options when it comes to this one in the shop. And they look much prettier hanging, but let's move this over to the side for a second. So there are two colorways. One of them is this AB colorway. So you've got that gorgeous AB. And then as far as your little dangles is, are concerned, these are also, these are also um, AB finish, they're clear, but these are vintage and they are vintage check glass. And the reason that I'm telling you that they are vintage is because they may have some imperfections on them, okay? These have been harvested. In other words, I got these off of a piece that was, you know, had seen better days. So that being said, these are, these little hangers here, these little dangles are vintage. They're not, um, you know, they're not going to be absolutely 110% perfect, but they're still gorgeous. Okay, so just be aware of that. I don't want you to get those and be like, oh, my bead has a scratch on it. Well, it's because they they lived a life before they were introduced to this life. <laughs> so this is one of the colorways for the necklace, okay, which is beautiful. And for those of you who don't like pink and green, this one's going to be a good choice. So this one's in the shop. And then this one is in the shop. And let's put this one together. So these are super easy to put together. You've got a series of jump rings here and um, some head pins, which I didn't grab. I'm going to have to grab my head pins. And I'm trying to lay this one out so I can kind of use this one as a, as a reference here. Just in case I forget wh what goes where. <laughs> I'm having one of those days, right? I'm not real sure what's up or down today. Okay, so you're just gonna need your basic tools to create this and <clears throat> you've got some textured jump rings. I'm all about the texture jump rings these, these days. Um, Nancy says harvested, is that what you call it? Yeah, that's actually a real thing. Um, when you take vintage beads off of pieces that have, you know, lived a, a life, <laughs> a previous life, it's called harvesting. And that's actually a real thing in the industry, believe it or not. That's really what that's called. There's a whole subgenre of people in the industry that that's what they build their entire living on is harvesting and um, upcycling, which is I, I absolutely adore. Okay, so big, large jump rings and just gonna give those a twist to open. You got these big ones because we need to clear the surface area of this big crystal guy. So we're gonna thread that through and we're gonna attach that to one of our decorative rings and we're gonna go ahead and close that back. Now I'm using two for this. There are two in your kit. I'm using two. <coughs> for a little extra security uh, because these jump rings are a little on the thin gauge side. Um, they're, they're sturdy, but also because I just really enjoy the texture of these. So you're getting doubles, you're getting doubles. So if you only wanna use one for this, you can use the other one for something else. So I think you'll be good. I think you'll be safe with just one, but sometimes I like to double things up just cause I like, I like the look of it. So 
that jump ring did not close very well. All right, so here is our centerpiece, okay? How pretty that is. I love the pink and the green flashes in this. It's so springtime, so, so springtime. Okay, so now we want to put these guys on either side and we are going to use some more of these little texture jump rings. These are just smaller and I'm gonna do two on each, again, just because I enjoy that texture. So between two pairs of pliers, I'm just gonna twist to open. I'm gonna thread that on, and then I'm gonna thread on the other, or a other ring, another ring, words, use your words correctly today. <laughs> Close that back. And I'm gonna add a second one. Now, if you are not gonna buy a kit, but you wanna recreate something very similar to this with things in your own stash, um, I got these rings. These rings were a purchase. I can't remember where I got them. I've got a bunch of them. However, I have been known to take large link chain apart and use the large links for this purpose. So if you're thinking about what do I have in my stash that would work? check out your chain stash and see what you've got as far as chain is concerned um, because you might be surprised to see that you've got a few links to spare and for something like this this design only needs three of the large links so you um, don't have to take apart you know a, a huge piece of chain to get exactly what you need so just keep that in mind i like to to reuse other things and chain is one of those things because i'm not big on big chain I just don't generally wear a big chain. I kind of like my chains to be small, um, but, uh-oh, what's happened? <laughs> I've made a mess with this one, hold on. Um, I I like to use the large links in, in other ways from my large pieces of chain, so. All right, so there's our centerpiece, and you guys know I have to add dangles to everything because that's just kind of the way I am. So another texture jump ring for either side and then some little four millimeter jump rings for our dangles. And for this one in particular, your, your little dangles will be these really beautiful AB Swarovskis. They do have like they've got a flash of almost blue to them. I don't know if you can see in the, you see that? They're so, so they're not just straight pink. I thought they needed a little something extra to go with this beautiful thing in the middle here. So they do have that kind of, that extra flash to them. So let me grab some head pins and we will wire wrap these little dudes and put all of this together. All right, so I'm just gonna drop one of these down on a head pin and interesting with my tools today. All right, so we're gonna just do a wrapped loop. If you feel like doing a simple loop instead, you absolutely can. I'm gonna do a wrapped loop. So I'm grabbing that wire right where it is exiting the bead and I'm gonna give that wire a bend right over the top of the pliers so that when I take the pliers away, I've already got plenty of space here for my wraps. I'm gonna come in with my round nose pliers take the wire up and over the top barrel of the pliers. And in order to take that wire all the way over, I need to rotate so I can, there's room to move that wire. Okay, I'm gonna switch hands and then I'm just going to wire wrap between our loop and the top of our bead. And then come in with your cutter tool and trim off your excess wire. And this cutter that I'm using is absolutely horrible. It's dull. I don't know what the problem is. I need to get my good cutter, but I can't reach it. There we go. Got the good cutter. <laughs> Got the good cutter. All right, so we're gonna repeat that process to make a wrapped loop. Bend the wire over the top of the pliers. Coming in with our 
round nose pliers. So my head pins, I believe these that I have in my hand are 20 gauge, but I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent on that. I don't, I don't really know for sure. And the only reason I don't know for sure is because I just grabbed these out of my box of head pin um, soup. <laughs> I generally like a, a 24 millimeter head pin or a 22, um, but you know, you just kind of grab and you never really know what you get. <laughs> I believe in the kits, the ones that you guys are getting are 22. So there's our wrapped loop. Oop. All right, now I'm gonna put these together. So I'm just gonna use this little four millimeter jump ring And I want to thread on both of my little bi cones onto that. Do the same for this one. Okay, close that back. And now we're just going to attach these to our rings with our, it's hard with the texture jump rings to see where the opening is but we're gonna attach these to our rings with a texture jump ring here. Yeah, you can harvest findings as well. I like to, I'm a huge fan of when I can find vintage jewelry. I like to go to antique places. I haven't been since COVID, um, but I love to go. We've got a lot of big antique malls and things here. Um, and I like to go and go through the jewelry because sometimes you'll come across things that have, you know, where the antique guy might not exactly know what it is that he has, where he has vintage Swarovski or he has vintage clasps. And those are one of my favorite things to harvest because a lot of times the clasps, clasps <laughs> will be sterling silver and they'll look terrible until you bring them home and give them a little bit of love. And then you've got a clasp that might be worth more than the rest of your entire piece. And that just makes it really, really special. Um, so I'm, I'm a huge fan of that. I cannot wait until I get um, completely uh, vaccinated so I can get back out and do those kinds of things because it's a lot of fun to see what you can find. It's like going on a treasure hunt. So I'm just opening another jump ring. In your kit, you're gonna get um, some pieces of chain here. So I'm just going to attach two pieces of chain and we're just gonna keep this easy and simple. So you get chain with yours. However, if you wanted to build a beaded necklace around this centerpiece, you absolutely could do that. You don't have to just stick with the chain. I just wanted to try to keep it as simple as possible. Where is Joan today, says Katie. Joan is not here. Joan and Ginger are out doing Joan and Ginger things. Um, I don't know if you guys know or not, Ginger doesn't actually live here. She lives in Georgia and she does have a house here in town. And so she comes up about twice a month and she is in town. And so she and Ginger are out doing crazy things, I would imagine. <laughs> so she's not here today. I'm missing her dropping links for me. All right. So this is this one. Isn't it not in the like right now in the in the camera that I can see it's flashing pink like big time. It's not all pink, I promise. This one has a lot of green in it. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not just plain pink. So there's that one, and there's this one. Exact same design. You're gonna put it together the exact same way, but you're gonna get two different looks. It is weird without Joan, isn't it? <laughs> Nicole says Joan and Ginger are out getting arrested. <laughs> That's probably true. They'll call me later for bell money. I'll be like, well, <laughs> I spent all that on beads. So, <laughs> oh gosh. So there are two of the necklaces that are in the shop. I'm going to move these out of the way. I'll show these to you hanging when we get to the end here so that you can see them. I'm just going to move them out of the way for the moment. Okay. Let's put together another necklace. Uh, this one, I'm a huge fan. I'm so in love, so in love. So this one is built around this guy. I'm telling you all about the sparkle today. I'm all about that sparkle. Look at that. This is like teal, green, purple, pink. Oh, so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. I love it. Okay. 
Jana says, still having a hard time finding your Etsy store. Can somebody drop a link for me since Jonah's not here? I really, really would appreciate it because I know some people are struggling to get to the Etsy shop. All right, so this is going to be our focal for our necklace. However, I was feeling the filigree. So for this necklace, let me just kind of lay this out for you. This is going to be another one that's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, there's not a a lot to it until it's put together and then it's like oh I like that so you got a filigree piece that's actually going to sit behind this guy and I did not patina this one but if you want to please feel free to patina this guy behind here maybe some blue or some purple would look amazing on this little filigree brass piece okay so that's going to sit behind there and I've, I want to attach this guy. It's going to kind of go like that. If you don't like the cone, you can leave the cone out. I realize the cone is not going to be for everybody. Something I want to mention, though, is that my cone, your cone is going to come round. And I, I kind of squished mine down nice and flat just so that it lays nicely. Okay, I'm going to show you how to attach that. I'm just building this out so you can see what it looks like. All right, we're going to take a little blue bicone to pop on the top of that. And then on either side, I have these check glass pearls that are not really showing the color in them at the moment, but they are they're purple and green, like a purple green blue. So they really look beautiful with this drop. They just for whatever reason on camera are not coming up across very very bright. Okay? Little bicones on either side of these and some daisy spacers, and then just some chain for this. Again, this is gonna be another one of those where you can build a, an entire necklace around this if you want to, um, you know, and you can do a, um, you know, a beaded necklace around it. You don't have to just stick with just the chain. This is just the beginning, like this is your jumping off point, okay? So in your kit, you're gonna get a piece of antique brass, 22 gauge wire. And we, because this guy is drilled at the top, we have to find a way to attach our cone to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our piece of 22 gauge wire and we are going to treat this like a briolette Okay, I'm not quite at the middle, almost at the middle. And I'm gonna take my wires and I'm gonna crisscross them at the top of our bead, okay? To make our little triangle. Now, I'm gonna come in with my chain nose pliers. I'm gonna bend one of them straight up and down and the other one out this direction. And it doesn't matter which one, okay? I'm gonna hold on to that little triangle part with my pliers, and then I'm just gonna use my fingers to wire wrap. And this can be a messy wrap because you're never gonna see it. It's gonna be inside that cone, so don't worry if this is a, a hot mess of a wrap, okay? Trim off whatever excess you've got, okay? Just make sure you've got plenty of, of this right, coming up because this guy's a little big. So now we're just gonna drop our cone down on top of our crystal piece and you never even see the wire wrap, right? I'm gonna put a bicone on the top of that just to bring that blue kind of further up in or further up <laughs> rather. And I'm going to do a wire wraps loop right here. If you want to do just a simple loop, you can. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a wire wrapped loop because those are my favorite. Okay, so bending the wire, I'm gonna come in with my round nose pliers. Up and over, rotate, take the wire over. And then I'm going to wire wrap right between our loop and our bicone. I was watching Ghost Adventures this morning. You guys ever watch that show? I don't particularly believe in ghosts, but I do love Ghost Adventures. It's just so much fun. I had forgotten about that show. I haven't watched it in a long time. So I was watching it this morning. 
and it's I'm st I'm still thinking about one of the places that they went. Like I'm th I'm thinking of all these places where I want to go travel, not necessarily to ghost hunt, just <laughs> just places I want to go. I'm so ready. I want to live a big life. <laughs> I want to go do things out in the world. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to attach these two things together, and we're going to utilize that top loop and our wrapped loop here. And I'm going to use a little four millimeter jump ring just to connect the two of these together. Whoops. Somebody said, I love Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg is so near me. You should come and we should go. <laughs> Let's go to Gatlinburg. <laughs> Lots of antique places in Gatlinburg. All right, so I've opened up a four mil millimeter jump ring and I'm gonna thread on our filigree piece to the back and then I'm just gonna close that back, okay? So that is gonna connect those two things together. And if you don't want to use the, the bead cap, this big cone bead cap, then I would forego all of, all of this stuff and just use a large jump ring to go through that front hole on your pendant and through your filigree piece, okay? Just so you know that if you don't want to use that, you can still connect both of those things together, all right? So there's our center piece. And let's see. I've got two eye pins. I'm going to go ahead and create my little side pieces here. So I'm going to thread on a bicone, a daisy spacer, one of these check glass pearls. The check glass pearls are kind of like faux Tahitian pearls. That's what that colorway is. It's that purple green flash. Another daisy spacer and a bicone. Now for these, because there is just a simple loop on one end, I'm gonna do another simple loop on the other end. I think the only reason I don't believe in ghosts is because I don't I don't know that I've ever had a encounter that <laughs> would make me think that ghosts were a real thing. But I love the paranormal shows. They're so fun. Like I, I love all of those shows. I'm a skeptic until otherwise, right? I'm a skeptic until I'm a believer. So I'm open, I'm open. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Just don't scare me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to trim off that wire and leave myself about a half an inch, a fourth of an inch, something like that. Okay. And I'm going to use my round nose pliers. I grab that wire at the tip and I'm just going to roll back. And close that loop up. So now we've got a simple loop on both ends. Yeah, I want to hear your story. Oh, Gia says she's got stories too. I want to hear your stories. Oh, where can we post our stories? <laughs> I don't want to post them in the, on like the Sarah Ellis Designs page because I'm afraid people will be like, okay, this is just weird. <laughs> this is not jewelry related. But yeah, I want to hear your stories. I, I've never really had an experience, I don't think. I'm not particularly afraid of ghosts, I don't think. Well, that's just because I've never had an experience. But now aliens, on the other hand, not that I've ever had an alien experience either, but that aliens terrify me. Like, that's the scariest thing in the whole world. Like, please don't come and take me in my sleep. I'm not okay with that. You do not have permission to do that. <laughs> you want to come sit on the end of my bed and, like, pull at my covers. That's totally fine. But please don't take me up into your spaceship in the middle of the night while I'm sleeping. I'm not okay with that. You guys are learning way too much about me. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Another simple loop here. It's Friday. It's okay. We're a family. <laughs> oh gosh. And a simple loop there. The trolls would have a fit. Would they not? Oh my gosh. Totally. You guys, when I was a, when I was a freshman... I had to do a Julius Caesar project. We had to make a video of Julius. We had to do like a scene from Julius Caesar. And I did mine with aliens. So, yeah. Mine were aliens in togas. It was really ridiculous. I was always such an odd kid. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Now, all we want to do now is just connect all of this together. This is pretty simple and straightforward, but that's what Philgan Friday is all about, right? It's still gorgeous, even though the steps to achieve it are not crazy hard. So I'm going to, we can set up a Zoom, Nicole. Let's totally do it. 
Friday night ghost stories. All right, I'm going to open up a six millimeter jump ring here. Thread that on. I'm going to thread on my simple loops from each one of my, yes, creative, definitely creative, not odd. We're, we let our, our weird little lights shine bright when we're together and that's okay. I love that. That's what I want. I want you to be you, even if other people don't understand. That's what BU is all about. All right, so I've attached those two. Now, I didn't include extra jump rings here. Um, you do have a jump ring and a clasp on your chain, but I didn't include extra little jump rings as your go-between here because I thought it would be just as easy to open up your simple loop and just thread on the end of one of your chain pieces here. If you are not comfortable opening and closing those little guys, then definitely feel free to add a jump ring. I would just stick with a four millimeter though, um, just because they don't take up nearly as much room. So I'm just going to do the same thing over here. And close that back. All right. And there you go. That's it for this one. But again, this one is one of those that you could take to a bunch of different places. Okay. You, yeah, the chain is antique, antique brass. You can continue to bead instead of using your chain. You can patina any of this here, either the, the bead cap or the, um, the filigree piece. And if you want, you can even hang more things from your filigree piece. In fact, you could come down here to the bottom of your filigree piece, which sits behind your pendant, but you could come down and add other things here if you wanted to put a tassel on this or whatever you wanted to. So I feel like this was really just kind of a jumping off point because there are so many options with just this, right? This, however, I'm, I'm and I'll be completely straightforward with you guys, the necklace kits for today are a little bit um, a little bit more expensive than some of well they're definitely more expensive than the earrings kits and that's just because we've got some Swarovski we've got some filigree I mean you know I, I'm I wasn't like trying to like price gouge by any means but I do have to like I have to get my money back for, <laughs> for the pieces you understand I know you guys understand it's just like I put prices on things and I'm like oh my gosh nobody's gonna buy that it's so expensive so I, it, it hurts me to put prices on things okay so there's this I'm gonna sit this to the side now before we do the earrings I do want to talk about another really pricey kit that's in the shop I'm gonna show you a pair of earrings that we're not gonna make but I'm gonna show you um, I'm going to show you a bracelet. So I'm not going to put this bracelet together because it's already ready. Okay. And I do want to show it to you. So it's a half and half. This is probably the most expensive kit in my shop. In fact, it is the most expensive kit in my shop. And there is a reason for that. Um, obviously, it's because it's freshwater pearls. And these pearls are ginormous. These are great big, really big. They may not look nearly as big on camera, but they definitely are big, large, and in charge pearls. And then you've got your charm and you've got your Swarovski. These little Swarovski copper flowers, I don't think they make those anymore. Um, but... Yeah, so if, you, if you're looking for a copper Swarovski flower, I grab these up because I've had a hard time trying to reorder these. I can't find them. Um, but anyway, the charms may vary. They're all butterflies. You got all the materials to put this together. So this is just straight stringing on this side. Thank you, Wanda. That, oh, you kind of, I'm going to cry over that one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um you get your bee stringy wire, your crimps, and all, like, you get all the parts here, you guys. I, I really try to give you all the parts every single time. The only thing that's missing from this one that I don't necessarily think that it needs is there are crimp covers that you could put over your crimps. I don't have crimps over mine. Um, but... Yeah, I just wanted to show you this one because I felt like, you know what, this is not necessarily one we need to put together because it's just straight stringing and we've done straight stringing together so many times. I feel like if you need help, you definitely can reach out and I'll help you. Um, there is a difference in these though. There are a few of these that have this textured chain. The other option is just a plain chain and the plain chain is just a tiny bit smaller, okay? The links are not nearly as big, um, but it still looks beautiful. So either way, either way, 
but yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with the half and half. Like that's, that style is everywhere right now. So I thought these were beautiful. I was really excited to put these together for you guys. So these kits are in the shop, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to walk you through putting this one together. However, if you do need help when you get it, just let me know. Okay. Also want to mention that your chain piece is really long and you've got extra pearls. So it can accommodate a lot of different sizes as well. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I was taking care of everybody. So you can adjust it if you need to cut the chain shorter, use less pearls, you know the drill. So there's that one. Let me show you one of the earrings and then we're gonna make two pairs of earrings. <laughs> Nicole says, I'm gonna smack Wanda if I cry. That's the, <laughs> that's the weirdest comment ever. <laughs> if I cry, I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> we're such a, a heartfelt group. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Anita. You guys are, you're, you're getting me right in the feels today. Like, look at, I'm getting, I'm getting goosebumps. I don't know if you can see them or not. You probably can't. I don't know. There they are. See, I'm getting the chili bumps today. <laughs> I'm feeling the love. All right. So these earrings are also in the shop. I'm not going to put these together for you because they're pretty straightforward. I just wanted to show them to you so you could see them because sometimes it looks, it's cooler to see things than it is to see just the picture right? So these guys have a really cool blue stone bead on the bottom. I, they came from Fire Mountain Gems, but I don't know exactly what they are. They're some kind of stone composite. They're pretty cool. I really like them. You've got your bead caps, you've got a Swarovski um, rondelle, and then a link in here for chain. So for those of you, again, I'm the worst salesperson in the world. If you don't want to buy the kits, you don't have to, right? But think about your big chunky chains. What little sections of your big chunky chains can you take apart and use for an earring? Super cool, right? Super, super cool. I love these. I think these, these are definitely my style for sure. I, I, I don't wear a lot of antique brass, but I love it. And I don't know, it feels very, these almost feel Egyptian to me, kind of, you know, I don't know, there's something about them. So those are in the shop. I'm not going to show you how to make them because you can just put them together. If you need me, please don't hesitate to reach out. All the parts are there. Okay. All right. Now I am going to show you these. So in the shop, there are two pairs of leather earrings, the green ones, and then the ones with the coins. So I'm gonna to put together the ones with the coins so you can see them. But it is a piece of the softest leather ever. Like, oh my gosh, Kathleen got this leather and I don't even know where she got it, but it is so soft. So you've got some really soft leather. These are little pieces of chrysopri chrysoprase. I don't know that I'm saying that right, but these little gem green gemstone beads and then some green Swarovski bicones and some leaves as your dangles for the bottom. Okay, you get all the parts to put those together. If you're not feeling the green, then the other colorway I'm gonna put together for you. So it is a piece of our leather, a little coin here. Now I wanna be, I wanna be completely straightforward with you about the coins. So these I had in my stash, they are a bazillion years old. I don't, I don't know where they, they're not, what I'm trying to say is it's not a real coin, obviously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've had these for a long time. I don't know where they came from and they're not real coins. So yeah. <laughs> they're probably just aluminum on the inside is, is all I'm trying to say they're not like rare vintage wonderful coins um but another little Swarovski and for the little gemstone for these is tiger eye okay and all of the PC parts for this one is antique brass so these these guys in the green are in silver but the ones with the coins are in antique brass okay so I'm just going to show you how to put these together real quick now, as far as the leather is concerned, it doesn't have holes in it yet. You got to do that part yourself. And I have a punch. It's actually a metal punch, but I'm going to use it to punch holes in my leather. If you don't have a leather punch, you can use a safety pin. And you can't do that with all leather, but this leather in particular is so soft that a safety pin, if you just open it up and poke it through, and I would poke it through both at the same time, you're going to get a hole big enough to take your, um, your little piece of wire through, okay? So don't feel like if you don't have a punch, you can't do this you absolutely can. You could probably use a thumbtack too if you needed to or like a, um, you know, just a little nail. But a safety pin is, you know, usually people have safety pins. So 
So I'm just going to double my ends and I'm just going to punch a hole through there. Safety pin, whatever works for you. Okay. And then wiggle that off of there. So I've got a hole punched. Now I'm going to thread on my large ring. I'm going to take my two ends back together. Now I'm going to take my piece of wire and I'm going to thread through those holes that I just created. Okay. And we're just going to treat this like a briolette. Bring the two ends together, crisscross. Make our little triangle there at the top. One of those needs to go be bent just slightly to go straight up and down, and the other one needs to be bent to go out, just like we did in our previous little design that we made. Now hold on to that little triangle section and wrap around. And I like to do a messy kind of bundle here instead of just my standard pretty wraps. Um, feel free to do whatever you want to. I'm kind of making a spiral and then I might, I might chunk it up a little bit. I don't know. I just like it to be kind of messy for whatever reason. <laughs> I'm feeling the messy today. Feeling the messy. So there's our little messy wrap. It's not perfect. I know I'm okay with that because <laughs> I like it just like it is. All right. I'm going to trim off my tail and now I'm going to thread on my tiger eye bead. Oh, so pretty. I'm not normally drawn to tiger eye, but it looks so good with this leather. I don't know. It was just, they were kind of meant to be. Little Daisy Spacer and then my little Sororovsky. Okay. And now I'm just going to do a wrapped loop here at the top. So I'm going to grab my wire, give it a bend. Go up and over. Rotate wire over and then I'm gonna wrap these are very similar to the ribbon earrings that we did last week remember all the ribbons that we did last week I want you guys to know that I'm going to restock ribbon earrings next week so be ready for that I'm gonna restock ribbon earrings and I'm also and in different colors I've got different colored ribbon um, I'm gonna restock ribbon earrings and I'm gonna be restocking the bird's nest pendant um, necklaces because those sold out really quickly and people wanted them <laughs> like really wanted them so I'm going to restock those as well all right so now all I got to do is just add my ear wire so I'm going to open that up thread that on whoops I had to reorder wire for the bird's nest pendant, so that's kind of what I'm waiting on. But those are going back in the shop because you guys loved those. And I did too, to be completely honest with you. It was one of my favorite kits that we've done. All right. I'm going to open a, another jump ring. I'm going to thread my little coin on and then thread that onto my ring on the bottom and close that back. And voila. So totally different colorway gives you a completely different result. So this one is, is very earthy brown, right? And then you've got this one that is bright and springy green. But, you know, both go together exactly the same way. So there you go. So that's it. That's what's in the kit or that's what's in the shop for today, you guys. I've got uh, three pairs of earrings if you count these as separate. So you got the green pair, the brown pair, you have these really cool blue Egyptian looking earrings. Our bracelet is in the shop as well as the three necklaces. So there's lots to choose from in the shop. I'm going to turn you guys around. We'll try on the earrings and I'll show you the necklaces so that you can see them on. So the spring on that sounded like a, like a clock. <laughs> All right, so here is the green earring. Karen says, where did you get the metal punch? You know, I'm not, I probably got it from Amazon. <laughs> That's where I get everything. <laughs> probably from Amazon. There are the green. Now listen, if the earrings are too long, you can trim your leather piece up. I think your leather piece is two inches long, so you can you can make it shorter if you want to, so they don't, they don't have to be like shoulder dusters. They're kind of long, but you know, I wanted to give you more than what you needed. You can do whatever you want to with it, right? So there are those ones. I love that. 
I think the brown ones are my favorite though. The only trouble I have with wearing this color is sometimes it kind of disappears into my hair and you don't see it as much, but I really love those. They're, I don't know, there's something just really cool about those. Shake them. <laughs> Still Friday, right? Still Friday. Can you tell? <laughs> All right, I'm going to try on these blue ones because these are, these are super cool. Boop. I really, really like these. Something about that just makes me really happy. I don't know, that design, and it's so straightforward. I mean, it's you're just using your pieces and just stacking them up. It's not hard, but again, that's I'm like I'm reminding myself, because you guys already know. <laughs> that's what Feel Good Friday is all about, right? Super easy instant gratification jewelry. Doesn't have to be hard to be beautiful, and those are so fun. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. All right, I'm going to show you the necklaces so that you can see what those are looking like hanging. Grab bust over here okay so I hung all three necklaces on this so I'm gonna take two of them off so you can see one at a time one at a time so the chain this is something else I want to um, mention to you guys you get really long chain pieces I don't try to skimp on this materials okay you get really long chain pieces in fact I think let me measure Yeah, your chain pieces are almost 12 inches long. So if you use both pieces of chain, they're 12 inches long plus an inch for your class. You've got 13, I'm sorry, 20, 25 inches. That doesn't include your pendant portion. So the reason is, is because you can adjust that, right? You can trim off the chain if you don't want a long necklace. But I want to give you extra chain because people do like long necklaces. So um, I somebody had asked me that earlier and I forgot to answer that question. So just so you know. So like you're getting a whole lot of chain here. But I would probably, just for me, just my personal. <laughs> I wouldn't wear it like that. But just for me personally, I like a shorter necklace. Hello, please hang like you're supposed to. There we go. So there's that one with that beautiful pink and green. <laughs> so pretty so pretty it's so pretty it's so good and <laughs> I'll show you the one with the clear a b gotta take care of my people that's why you always get extra you get extra like with your bracelets you get extra pearls and extra beads and with your necklace you're gonna get extra long chain because i feel like you can adjust that part yourself but it's better for you to have more than not enough. That's no good, you know? But you don't ever want to just not have enough to make what you need. So I try to do what I can for y'all. So there's the AB click. I, don't, I can't decide what my favorite is. I really like that a lot. So pretty. So, so pretty. <laughs> um, what's the shortest length that will look good with those necklaces? I would probably trim it up so that your pieces of chain were maybe um, eight inches. So I'd probably cut four, maybe five inches off the chain just because I feel like it, because of the way the piece hangs, it needs to be kind of more up here. But some people don't like that because it bugs them. It drives them crazy. So they need it to be longer. But me personally, I want it to be up here because I'm kind of fuller. You know what I'm saying? So it... I don't want to put my necklaces on a shelf. <laughs> Either have to be above the shelf or below the shelf. Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's just me though. That's just me. So, <laughs> okay. Last necklace. <laughs> I don't like them to sit on the shelf. <laughs> and this one is the same. Like you get a bunch of chains so you can trim this one up. However, this one does look really cool long. So, <laughs> I got a big shelf. <laughs> what is happening? Someone stop me from speaking, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. This is the, the other one. <laughs> Sue says, I do know what you're saying. <laughs> it's hard though. When you've got a big shelf, it's hard to know where your necklaces, necklace should fall. And I feel like I'm not the only one who struggles that way. Because, I mean, we don't all look like this necklace bust. Come on, can I get a realistic bust here, please? <laughs> My bust looks like a 13-year-old boy. 
Just a second. Okay, so there is this one. And again, this calls for more. Like if I had tons of money to put in kits, I would have done more with this. I'm feeling like more beads and more hanging and more bling and bling. But I wanted to give you guys the basics. So you've got everything you need. It looks beautiful all by itself. If this is all you do to it and you just put it together, I love it just like it is. However, this is definitely one of those that you can take to the next level by throwing stuff from your stash at it and just making a really cool signature piece for yourself and just build around what's already here. So it's pretty either way, right? It's pretty either way. That blue, you can't go wrong with that blue. <laughs> All right. So we made it through our Feel Good Friday. All the projects. <laughs> True statement about the bust, right? I'm telling you. Like, I'll trade. Who wants to trade? <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to wear long jewelry. And I really like long necklaces, but they have to be really long. Otherwise, they do this. You know what I'm saying? I don't like, okay, we've gone too far with this. You will need to go back and, and watch the replay. This has been an interesting, this has been an interesting Facebook Live. <laughs> we've talked about all kinds of things today that were interesting. Oh, oh my gosh, Nicole. Every time Sarah says so pretty. I got to kiss myself so pretty. I kiss myself so pretty. <laughs> oh, goodness. That would be great with some tassels on the bottom. I agree. I agree. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So that's it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this Feel Good Friday show. I always enjoy our Feel Good Friday get-togethers. Uh, you guys know the crazy lasts all through the week, but on Fridays, we're extra crazy. And it's well-deserved because we've made it through a week. <laughs> and at this point in my life, I celebrate one day at a time. So I made it through another week. Hooray! I survived. And now I get to go and clean up my big beady mess and look at all the pretty shiny things that I have and come up with new ideas for kits for you guys. So don't forget next week on Tuesday, we're going to be discussing the paid group and you'll get to learn all about what that is. And if that's right for you, um, don't feel like I'm going to give up on our regular group because I'm not. I promise. I'm never going to I'm never going to stop. Just can't stop loving you. I'm not going to. <laughs> so don't feel obligated to come and join the paid group unless you just want some extra, you know? You can have some extra. So anyway, that's happening next week on Tuesday along with a project. And then Sam from Sam's Bead Shop will be with us on Thursday to put together a project using beads from his last subscription box that went out, which was Mother's Day themed. And I cannot wait to go through that one with you guys. It's going to be awesome. We do embrace our crazy. All right. Other than that, you guys have an amazing weekend. Have a wonderful weekend. I don't have a Michaels class this weekend, so I actually have a little bit of time. I'm thinking there might be some video games in my future, maybe some popcorn in bed. I don't know. I don't know, but I find some me time for myself. So you find some for you as well. And if you need me, don't hesitate to reach out. I will be here if you have questions. And all of you who have bought kits from my shop, thank you so, so much. I'll get all of those shipped out to you on Monday. And enjoy your weekend, guys. I love you. Bye. <laughs>